Speaking of uh, white women, uh-huh. let's go. Ooh. Well, I'm, I was thinking about this one. Was that it? Mm. It depends on which one. You know, we got. No, we need the one with the, the, the divorce. Is this one? Is it the divorce? Hold on, I got Beautiful it. soul, contagious. No, no, no. Hey, where is it? It's a video, I think. Former NFL, play- former NFL player Terrell Owens married a postal worker named Rachel Snyder back in 2016 at a courthouse in Newhall, California. However, the marriage ended three days later. Rachel Snyder filed for divorce and accused the former athlete of using her. According to Rachel, Terrell Owens had terrible credit and only married her so he could use her great credit to get a $2 million home loan. In addition to filing for divorce Rachel demanded alimony because she believed she deserved to continue living the life she had become accustomed to during their three-day marriage. Divorced them after three days of marriage and felt entitled to alimony. She deserves a lifestyle now. I ain't never seen no shit like that. (laughs) We need Dr. Umar for this level of atrocity. Yo, it's spooky out here, yo. It's truly a dirty. We don't need that. We don't need Dr. Umar to do a motherfucking thing. <laughs> it's still get those kids in school. Why he out here worrying about the gays, bitch? Get that roof on that school, bitch. Get that roof on that school. Get them teachers in that school. Get them people back their money. <laughs> get them people their money or get them kids and people in school. We, mm. That's all we need Dr. Umar to do. We don't need Dr. Umar to do nothing else. <laughs> yeah, people so let's talk there. about it. I've heard girls marrying for motherfucking citizenship, Mo, but bitch. <laughs> and I know they married for credit. Uh-huh. So, so what, what do you I want to quit. I got to ask all my black women out there. Black women, do y'all feel sorry for this nigga? Black women, do y'all feel sorry for this nigga? I went on. I went on all the black women to get in the comments. Oh, we got one no. We got two no. We got three no's. Hey, no. Oh yes, come on, black women, come through. Come on, black women. <laughs> yes, because me and Mo had this talk about this a little bit before the before the show. Yeah, we did. I feel no ways tired either. How many of y'all feel like she should get it out? Get all of it. <laughs> Why? Get it all. Why? For three days? Yes, right. What the fuck? You could let a bitch convince you to walk down the aisle? He said he wanted to get it long for, okay. for a house. He said that he he said that he married her because she had good credit. I don't even think he feels sorry for him. Cause he obviously he got what he wanted. She want that alimony. Oh, this they take his draws too. That, that, that I feel you, ladies. Y'all say take his draw. Don't even leave no crumbs for his black children. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave a dime for his black children. But I was saying, if that's the case, then. Well, how about when the shoe was on the other foot? Should it be like that also? Well, black women ain't finna let no white man take her money. Well, I'm not talking about. I wasn't even talking about race though. Oh, we this we this where we at? Yeah. Okay. This was where we at. Black women ain't finna let no white man take their money. Well, I mean, did, what, what's the name of that that couple that that was just on the uh that was just? She ain't all the way what we is. She black. The king of queens or whatever the name of that 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 you that. Uh, how black is she? She 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 about my complexion. Oh, she went on the other side and found out. <laughs> don't was even, she was she taking care of that even, white man? Was she taking even, care of that don't white even, man? She probably was. And popping out kids for him. Well, also? she's the fool. She's the fool. Got don't over there and thought that the grass was greener. <laughs> <laughs> I 
thought that the grass was greener. <laughs> She's the fool. Okay. I'm just making sure we have the same energy for everybody. Oh, y'all don't write Tamar down here. I'm not doing this with y'all. Yeah, we ain't even talking about. Don't do that. Don't even do that. I'm trying to be messy. Because I talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> they said Mo leave Rose and Brett alone. Oh, I didn't even know that was their name. Oh, Rose and Brett. <laughs> It's to take his black children too. Yes, yeah, to the cleaners, <laughs> ring them out. Oh, so you want a white woman take uh, take care of a black children? No, no, all the any inheritance they got, <laughs> all of it, <laughs> and go lay up with your husband Tom. Oh, really? Marry a white man when he's slutty. Really, Maddie? Oh, yeah. Any black man, I want. I want. That, that's my. That's one. That'll be my dying wish. Why? I'm wishing on a star. Do do. God, oh, where you are. Do do. I'm wishing on a dream. Do do. To so follow what it means, bitch. Get it all. <laughs> Take that nigga's pension. For th Maddie, for three days. You know you're saying this for three days, right? It could have been three minutes. You married this bitch. Because he wanted to get his credit up. And you knew what this bitch was about. Both of y'all wanted something from each other. Now she get to take it all. You can marry no black woman. It's, it's, it's many black women out here got good credit. They just want to be no fool. <laughs> so I guess that's, he found himself a fool. And she did too. <laughs> Oh, because how many black women going to how many black women going to use their credit to? Now I'm not saying there aren't any. Oh, because I'm finna, I'm finna get I'm not going to say you. right. I'm not going to say that there aren't any, but I would say that there is not like a whole bunch that going to use their own credit for you to finance a two million dollar house. Not after three days. Right. Exactly. He knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was doing. I just feel like this, Mo. I don't have no empathy or sympathy for you when you cross over to the other side. And I'm not telling you love like who you like and love who you love. Cause listen, I I, I ain't got no problem. But a lot of men. Based that on success. Like once you receive the area of success, mm -hmm. you ain't dating in your in your in your race no more because you're successful. So you know you got the you got the you can't you don't do that. And a lot of those men um move like that. So this is why you have to understand why we don't be feeling no, why we we feel some type of way about them niggas. Okay. <laughs> because they they start getting to a level of like, oh, I got money, I got this and the others, you know what I'm saying? So let me really step my pussy up. Okay. Okay. What's your input? I mean, all I was going to say is I get where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. But then do, can you can you also put it on the other foot of when this just this just not this just a hypothetical It's just, you know, when a, when there is a good guy that comes to that comes to you Y'all don't want to deal with them. But then the hood nigga comes. Y'all fuck with this. Y'all fuck with y'all fuck with the hood but nigga the and then he break your heart. No, it's the same way with men. Like it be a bitch that be really fucking with y'all, but then y'all want the bitches that's that built that's built up like every house in the neighborhood. <laughs> and look like every bitch walking down the street. You can't even decipher which bitch that is. You don't know if that's the bitch, the bitch neighbor, 
You don't know if that's the bitch's cousin. You don't know because they all got the same aesthetic. And it'd be, it'd be the same look. And so, so what I'm going to say is, so my point is we always, and it's not just, it's not just women, it's men too. We look at, we, we overlook uh, red flags just because we want to have something that we find desirable. That's why you should just use your dick and go on about your business. These niggas be using, they be, they be, they be trying to wife it up. Oh, you talking about when they they going after the same house on the block? They be trying to wife a bitch, wife the motherfucker hold up. It's like nigga, you buying the same property? What you talking about? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I agree. I'm not disagreeing with you, Maddie. But I, I totally saying, agree. It's just like, for example, if a woman deal with a man, right? Uh huh. And he ain't got no money because right. it does, it can't happen. Right. Sometimes a woman deal with a man and they got no money because she like, okay, well, you know what? Maybe I see potential in the nigga. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna stick beside him. You know, that's mine, and I'm gonna stick beside him. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So now here's where I feel that she's dumb at. You know this nigga ain't got no bread, he ain't got no motherfucking coin. Oh no, Terrell has got bread. No, I'm talking about not her. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, you're talking about in general. Yeah. Oh, 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 okay, you know, okay. He don't got no bread, no coins, no this and the other. But the dick good. The dick good, but you let him drive your car while you go to work. You this you whatever you receive, you work for that. Right, and so that's what I'm that's what I'm talking about. So those type of examples are those type of examples are what I'm talking about. And it's the same thing for guys. When a guy see, a guy most likely what meets a meets a girl that is only about his money if that's only about his money but yeah, then because you, you said still something earlier to me about a guy a bitch that only want to eat a eat eat food yeah and you know this you know you this know bitch want to you know this food. bitch want to eat when she be saying oh bitch i'm home. i'm ready to eat take me to go to the to eat right or for bitch tell you if you don't make fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars yeah i can't fuck with you exactly but then you still try your best to try to get with that person after they already told you who they are. And then when they break your heart, then we we all act like we surprised about, oh, this person really broke our heart. So can we really, can we really blame the other person or do we sometimes have to say we chose that person? Um, Here's the difference. And here's what I can say. Men present themselves in a different space. Men, men never show up as their their true authentic self. And now when they do, and women look over the red flags because I ain't going to throw none of my friends under the bus. <laughs> but a lot of my friends talk about <laughs> how they ain't shit. Uh -huh. And their presentation is a decent man. And the women be, because ah, 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 they be so caught up in the, the aesthetic, the beauty of the situation. But they went past the surface, right? And then once you get past the surface, and you get you get to really communicate, and they, and this person don't attach or, or don't have no what you call it, mm -hmm. you can't feel no type of way because that man told you from the door. So I get that. I get a man if a man tell you from the door, listen, I got commitment issues. I just want to fuck. I want to get my dick. So I I, I I appreciate those type of men. Right. I'm, I that's the type of man I'm I'm really I respect because it just let me know well, bitch. I ain't got to put no effort in this either. I know what you, I, we got. We both got an itch that we need to scratch, and that's all we here for for the for the scratch for the for the itch and scratch. That's what we here for. But ninety nine point nine percent of men don't present themselves in an authentic way. They they present a version of themselves to seduce the woman. To seduce them, they present a version of themselves to to seduce that woman. So she don't know no red flags because, and this is why I don't, this is why I, when a motherfucker tell, tell me what type of nigga you like, I don't know. I don't know what type of nigga I like. You will know if y'all don't like you, bitch. Because you keep moving around. <laughs> you keep moving around, bitch. I'm going to know I don't like your bitch ass. You keep moving and shaking. Because a motherfucker will, will study your patterns but, and they'll they'll study your things and they'll yeah. those are what narcissists do. They'll study your patterns, they'll they'll 
uh, they'll get in and they'll mimic you and they'll mimic what they what you what they think that you may like. I wouldn't say that's a narcissist though, man. But that is definitely a narcissist, no, sweetie. Oh, man, because that that because you're tra- that, in other words, you're trying to say that all men are narcissists. I didn't say all men. No, are because I'm going to because I'm about to I'm about to tell you something. I didn't say all no, men were narcissists. No, the reason I'm going to say that is because I'm about to I'm about to give you an example. I mean, I'm about to tell you something. A lot of men, like you said, will go to what you just said about they'll ask you, hey, what kind of guy you like? Majority of men will ask you that. Why? Because they want to know who they have to become to to try to impress you. Become They're, like basically, yeah. I'm saying I'm telling you guys, perfect example. You you remember, you know, you you, you know Tupac, right? The everybody believes Tupac was this like super thug out dude, not, not knowing that when he was a kid. Or when he was younger, let me not even say he, when he was a kid, but when he was younger, he was a nice guy. And he said it himself. He said that he had to change his whole persona because when he would try to talk to women, they would say, you're too nice to you, you're too nice. Well, to it, me. it was maybe that type of that, it may be that type of woman that he was going after. You but, understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but that's so it might have been that type of woman that he was so, going after. Right. But I'm saying that to impress those women that he was going after. He he changed he he changed his whole persona to impress them. That's what I mean. I'm not saying so. And do you want to? And I don't think. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Go ahead. But I don't think that Tupac was a terrible human being. But if he but he wanted to he wanted to get he wanted to be able to get with women. So what he what did he do? He tried to become what women wanted wanted, or what women told them that he want that they wanted. Well, if you if you look up the, the traits and the characteristics of what a narcissist is, but it's more. But being a narcissist is more than just one thing, though. Narcissists are also narcissists are also those type of people that will do something wrong to you, and then make you feel like you're the problem. That's, uh, a, that's another trait of a narcissist. That is, but but the, but uh, but number one, the first thing that the narcissist does is love bomb you. That's the first thing. That is how they move. That's the first thing they do is love. Well, if, if y'all just meeting somebody and they already love bomb you, that should. That well, should no, 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 because there's there there's levels of love bombing. There's you know high levels of of interest and uh, attempting to show high levels of interest mm-hmm. and you know and really trying to get to know who you are, like what you are, like what you like, and they'll be watching you. They watch your social media. They watch your they watch your life. They watch you from the side. They watch, especially if you're a social person, they watch the things you post because they're trying to they're trying to give you, they try to they want you to have all of your guards totally completely down so that you can give them the uh the raw unfiltered you so that they can absorb that from you. They can absorb whatever light you have, whatever energy, whatever good mm-hmm. energy you have, and they can prey on places because usually narcissists like to, to like to attach themselves to people who have who are empaths for one mm-hmm. and for two people who have traumas, like who have like they trauma bond with you. Mm-hmm. They'll they will they will trauma bond and then they will uh you know, and then they'll take the, the bond that they did you like when they when they reveal their nasty persona, who they really are. They'll use that. They'll use everything that they've got. They've absorbed from you and got from you. And they will. Uh, they'll try to destroy you with that, because what happens is they've um, absorbed all the goodness from you and then they feed off of off of you running behind them why are you doing this to me all i want to do is love you yeah, why are you doing this I'm, I not, just... I'm not disagreeing with you with that I, I i agree but that's but that's that's a multiple but those are multiple characteristics those are multiple care you just named multiple characteristics not just i'm saying that just because somebody's trying to do something to impress you to get to like to get because there's sometimes where uh, somebody might co- try to approach you but you don't give them the type of time of day. But then, but then when you find out maybe something 
that might intrigue you about them, that's when you might say, oh, okay, let me, let me, let me try to get to know this person. That's what, that's all I'm trying to say. I'm saying that I'm not, I'm just, I'm just trying to say that not, not every single time that a, a man or anybody, it doesn't even have to be a man, man, woman, whoever, anytime that they're not every time that they're trying to impress you, because that's the word I'm going to use is impressed because I think that's the main thing is that especially when it comes to guys, they're trying to impress the women that they're talking to. They're trying to, they want the woman to actually, to give them a chance to, to like them. Well, then for me, if you ain't got no job, let me know you ain't got no job. If you ain't doing the best in your life, let, don't, don't, don't send the representative to me. I'd like to see you. Mm -hmm. Cause when a motherfucker run to me, I'm, I'm naked. Bitch, you I'm naked. I've been this this I did this, I did that. This was going on. My name is this one. So when, when I meet you, I'm naked. I need you to be naked too. Mm -hmm. I need you to be naked too, especially at this age area and age in my life. I need you to be naked too. I need both of us not to have on no fucking clothes. If you got scars, let me see them. If you got nicks and cracks on you, let me see them. Don't wait down the line and then I then you didn't then, then you got you still bleeding from some shit where bitch done done chopped the uh, took a chunk out of you and you still bleed from that shit and then I got to be over here I'm thinking I'm putting a patch on it and bitch you still let this bitch you still fucking with a bitch that's still taking chunks out of you or you 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 uh, it's so many people pulling chunks out of you because you so you're 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 here here and there and everywhere like nah no 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 I don't got time for that. There are more years behind me than ahead of me. Okay. Because so I don't got time for that. Like I just, I don't have, and, and, and I think that at, at a certain area in a certain place in your life, stop sending the representative. Don't send the representative. You show up. Hey nigga. You, you show up. Don't send the representative. Don't send me that person. I don't want to. I don't want to meet that person. No, I don't. I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm not saying that is. I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying. I'm just telling you what guys do. It's not because. It's not because. It's not because of. Uh, what's the word? It's not because that they're trying to be a narcissist or trying to. But majority of the time, you. majority of the times, it is. If someone, no, if someone is trying to, you, uh, if someone is trying to, no, they're trying. They're trying. Maddie, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, because as when I was growing up as a kid, when I was growing up, especially as a teenager, talking to talking to females, talking to the other sex, talking when even when I got to my 20s, I was in college talking to females. They like a certain type of guy. And as a and when you when you constantly talk to when you constantly talk to people and you're trying to get involved with with people. When they tell when you constantly hear a certain thing that this is what I like, I like this, this is what I'm attracted to, this is what is in for me, this is what I grab. And so you're to. gonna go and you're you gonna try you try to become you're gonna go try to that's you try to become but what you try to become but again, that's not you. So but I'm not, so Maddie, that's I'm a not, I'm, but the thing okay. that I'm not saying is right. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying that's what that's what people should do. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to let you understand what where guys are coming from when they're trying to do it. Not all every single guy is trying to do it to manipulate you or to become a narcissist. They're just well, trying to you, get they're just trying to get a chance with you. To, and then once you once you done did all that and then the true you come out, what have you done? I'm not gonna lie to you. Guys don't think that far ahead. The guys do not, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Guys do not think that far ahead. They guys think short term and, and, and so like, basically and like, you, me, at least let if I can get in there then I can work if I can just at least get in there. If I can get my foot into the door, then I can make. I can try so to make basically, like so basically, you just bagged up my theory because once you so what so what if that was all it took to get the pussy and then once it happens and it's just like you know what I really didn't like this pussy like that. It ain't really I didn't really I conformed to something because I wanted I wanted to get you to a spot and now I've got what I want. I really don't I really don't think I want it no more. It wasn't really worth it. So here's the I'm back to the original me. What did you do then? You manipulated. That was that's a that was a form of manipulation. I'm not disagreeing. That's a form of narcissism. No, it's a it's a trait. Doesn't mean you're a narcissist. 
is a trait. Doesn't mean you're a straight out narcissist. You have some traits. I mean, everybody has a little trait of narcissism in them. If we're going to be honest with you. Every person does. Every person does. And every person that has had to survive has had to do something. Because I know I have pieces of it. I have fragments of everybody. it. Everybody. Yeah, I, everybody I have does. fragments of it. I do. But what I don't do is I don't prey on. And narcissists tend to prey on people's weaknesses. And they tend to prey on. How how do I get into how do I get into this space to to absorb this? Because really, it's still it's still about absorption. Whether you absorb in their personality, whether you absorb in their their finances, whether you absorb in their their sex, it's about absorbing these these people and the energies from these people. And so that's a part of that is a a huge part of of a narcissist is trying to conform and 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 shape shift into a way to get in so that they can absorb something from a person. And so you got to look at it for what it is. That is a huge part of narcissism. Okay. It's a huge part. And people may not want to call it that, but that's exactly what you prayed on that person. You heard that person say, well, I don't like guys who pants sag and who this and the other, whatever. And then not every day you don't got your pants up. You don't got your shirt. You got your shirt button. You, or you got to unbutton. Or you, you walk in a certain way. You talk in a certain way. And you're doing this stuff running because there's something that you want from this individual that you want to absorb the, some essence from this person. But is, to be honest, though, I'm not I'm going to be honest. It's not bad all the time. How many times have people got into how many times have people got into a relationship with somebody and they ended up changing their whole persona for the good? Uh, I've seen I've seen a lot uh, of, I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of guys that have literally changed their whole character because of the woman that they were with and they became better for it. But is that truly by nature who they are? It's, it's, if, if, if it's because one thing my mother taught me is that a dog will return back to its own vomit. They'll eat their own shit. They will return back to that shit they spit out. So my thing is, is this person, is this who this person is designed to be? Or did they become something for someone else to absorb the essence of this person? And the essence could be the essence of their the essence of their their life force. 